All right, this is probably one of my favorite parts in today's video, my travel haul, and specifically to this part of France. I'm in the back of the chateau, the chapel's right there behind me, which is super cool. And the weather is absolutely perfect. And I'm so happy for this moment because the few days I've been here, it's just been cold, drabby, a little bit of rain, and finally the sun is out. And it's so perfect to be out here. Uh, this is my first thrift. I didn't get it in this area, but I thought I'd at least share with you my vintage blouse that I got thrifted from Paris. I absolutely love it. You see me wearing it on the vlogs, I think, here. And I love this piece a lot. One of my favorite things to do wherever I travel around the world is to vintage thrift. It is absolutely one of my favorite things to do, of course, with afternoon high tea. And if you watch Stephanie vlogs, you know that she goes to this place called MIU's. And I've always dreamt of going there myself one day. And I finally went. I went to the one in Chateau Roux, which you will see on the regular Travel with Julian France episodes. There, there was absolutely nothing. It was very small. Uh, if you are going to come in via train and you're there during the open hours, which I think is around 2 o'clock, go there. You never know. It's basically like a, a small thrift shop, almost like a Goodwill or something like that, like back in the States. It wasn't anything special. I did wait 15 minutes to wait for the place to open up because I knew that that was going to be my one opportunity and I'm glad I walked through it but there was nothing which was very underwhelming and sad because I like pumped myself up for MIUs. I did also walk 30 minutes to the MIUs where I'm staying at in Paris but of course they happen to be closed on the one day I am there during the day so I was not able to walk in through that one. But I did get an opportunity to go to the one that Stephanie goes to. I think it's called in Le Chat. I'm probably pronouncing that uh, wrong. But that one is only open on Saturdays. So if you're here at the Chateau on Saturdays, you will most likely end up there. If you are into thrifting and secondhand and treasures. Uh, I went there yesterday and there's a lot of people. I was there before opening to get a parking and once 2 o'clock comes or 2.30 comes, the whole place gets filled with people treasure hunting. I tried my best to find something. There was one vintage cardigan that was in good condition for 4 euros. And maybe I'll throw up a picture of me wearing it. And I decided to pass on that. A part of me was like, okay, Julian, it's only 4 euros. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, it's not like calling me like, oh my goodness, where did you get that? Like when I wear this, it's, it's like... It's one of those where did you get that pieces, right? Like it's so unique. I love the colors and the print. But that vintage cardigan just didn't speak to me that way. So I passed up on it. Luckily, one of my days here in the land, I, not that I have a rental car for the first time uh, traveling after 14 years of solo travel, I can drive myself to places I can stop if I want to stop. And I decided to go to Limoges. I did ask Natty of the places that I did research on for day trips, what would be the best one to go to. And she just suggested I go to Limoges. And I will share all of that on Travel with Julian on a separate episode. You can see where I went. There was one restaurant I researched that I wanted to go to, which is in a barn setting. And the cows are there and it was a it was a good lunch but I specifically wanted to go to Limoges of course to see the porcelain which was very underwhelming my goal was to just find a porcelain magnet to add to my magnet collection but I did want it to go to MIU's and I'm so glad I went because that place was the only place where I found my one treasured item and it's so cool and I'm going to bring it out now so you can see the amazing travel tote that I found. I am a huge collector of all things vintage. And when it comes to vintage handbags, I love anything that sits and that is square. Whether it is a wooden bag, a small little travel bag that I turn into my handbag, which will, this will be my handbag. I am obsessed with this. It's an absolutely good vintage condition. Take a look at it no rips tears or stains and the best part about it is that and i'll take this out which i'll share in a second the inside i'm not mad at it the bottom of the pocket here is 
ripped and I'll have to like if anything hand sew it down but I'm not concerned about that because I wouldn't use it anyway but the condition of the inside is pretty much perfect vintage excellent condition there probably was a mirror here and then you know maybe you could use this to secure something in here but i'm gonna use this as my handbag and the best part about it is that it came with the key that works and do you guys want to guess how much money i spent on this how many euros can anybody guess five euros can we give this video a big thumbs up on five euros because honestly this thing to me is priceless I'm going to look at this in my vintage collection and admire this forever until the end of time and I absolutely love it. So unfortunately with all of the MIU locations that I went to, there was nothing but honestly like just to be able to find one treasure in this part of the world and specifically at a MIU's because I've been watching Stephanie's content forever and that's where she goes. I was really happy and ecstatic that I found this and when I found it and I will share that on Travel with Julen the vlogs daily vlogs when i found this piece it was not priced and i was like how much is this piece and it was five euros i was blown away that she said five so this is coming home with me i can't wait to have it sit pretty with the rest of my vintage handbags and that is my one miu's treasure comment down below what do you think do you love it i absolutely love it it even matches like the camel caramel colors in my vintage blouse so I love that forever and because I went into a few other boutiques and such I did get some non vintage items there is a shop and you will see it on travel with Julian on the regular vlogs for France there was this one shop that I went into in Chateau because I was killing time for Emma used to open and um, it was a very similar shop that I went to in Le Chat where I got these dresses from which I will show you in a second and I got these flats like I think they're really cute you know they're great for spring and summer and I only paid eight euros for this so if it like you know gets dirty or worn out I'm not gonna get mad eight euros I think that's a really great fine so that is my uh, my my flats that I got near the train station getting here now when I went to Le Chat to see the market which you will see on the vlogs I, I went to a boutique right there where it's all happening and I walked into it and I was shocked to see the amount of inventory this store had from jewelry to bags to shoes you literally could do a whole wardrobe in that shop but I got two pieces and I'll share you the prices as well and the reason why I bought it. This is such a bright color, like so bright, it kind of gives me like, I don't know, like almost like a Barbie pink, but not really. It's so bright, it matches my hair color and it came as a set. As you see, it scrunches here to the side with a slit. It's long, high-waisted and it came with a matching little crop top it has a built-in like a uh, brow cup to it i don't like gold as you see i'm a silver person so it is what it is uh, they had like white orange red some kind of shade of blue and i vlogged all of that but i felt like i should stick to this color because my hair is in this shade as well as i think it would look so cute doing a dance video in it so stick around in the future in an upcoming video vlog you will see me wearing this in some place probably tropical hot and sunny and i'll do a dance video in this it's so cute i can even use this when i take dance class it, i think it'd be a cute dance set and this guys was about 23 24 euros for the whole set honestly not mad at that price and then last but not least i got this magenta fuchsia satin button front dress and it has a tie to it on the waist it has a 
uh, three-fort sleeve and the reason why I bought it and I was really torn if I should get a tan or champagne shade because it'd be perfect for when I'm in Africa doing safaris in the future but I decided to get this shade <laughs> because I think it'd be perfect for travel photos. I'm always trying to find unique, cute dresses for the places around the world where I can travel with the dress for cute photos. And I think this dress and color and the flowiness to it would make great uh, photos for my next upcoming trips where it's sunny. Also, when I'm not traveling, this would be a great afternoon high tea dress. I can dress it up with one of my vintage hats, one of my vintage handbags that has a print on it because this is a solid print. And this cost me 19 to 20 euros. Not that bad, right? And I can always dress it up with a different type of belt because it is a solid color. I like this dress because it goes from low to high to low. So it's a very cute cut and you will see me wear this in the future. So that is it for my haul of things that I got in this part of France. Uh, I'm very happy that I got this purchase from MIUs for 5 euros. I can leave this part of France super happy with my treasure. Got some cute dresses for the future and some fun easy flats that is very inexpensive. And that is going to wrap up my travel haul for this part of the video. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I feel like in Cato. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nadi, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. And I had such an amazing time in Milan and I will be back. And I've always dreamt of hand delivering my yeah. art pieces to Lalan instead of shipping it in the mail and I'm so blessed that I'm able to hand deliver it. I'm so sorry Stephanie to be here for meeting you. I'm sure he will be delighted. So I have a, a bunch of things mm -hmm. and I guess maybe, okay this is for Michael Patrick, Mr. Okay. Doing It himself. Yeah. So I have something for him. I know maybe he'll be here for... We try to keep his things and he has a, a big box, Michael, if you've seen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> has a big box with a lot of presents that people And he'll probably him. be here for December, maybe? Mm, we don't know. We oh. hope so. It's a long time we haven't seen him, but... Uh, okay, yeah. eventually yeah. you'll see him. Yeah. So I have something and, and for And you him. have your name here. So yes, and, uh, and I did write a card to him. Yeah. And oh, that's so lovely. if you could pass that on of to course. him, that would be awesome. Yeah. Okay, so... I am a resin artist. Maybe we talked about that. Yeah. Things that I do is I make resin art and I wanted to bring small things. Yeah. No chocolates or anything. Yeah. No, no big <laughs> things, you know. No chocolates to make me big. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, and I have a bunch of things and I'll go in uh, no particular order. And then you so can lovely. explain it's to so everybody yeah. what you do best. Uh, so, in no particular order. So I hand make everything and I was trying to think because obviously I don't know everybody's favorite colors mm -hmm. or anything but I did put a little thought into it. So yeah. this one is for Maria. Yeah. And it I has the names or should I bring a little pen? We can do that after. Yeah. You can write it down. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I just know that she plays the piano and she probably seems like somebody that maybe journals or something. So I wanted to yeah. give her a bookmark and then in here there's a letter M she charm. Likes it. She likes it. So oh, that's for her. Pretty. And then what else do I have? I have one for Gerald. Yeah. Okay. So there's a letter G in here. A cute little bookmark that he can We have another for book notes. for Jerry as well. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And then what do I have? Oh, Kirsty. Yeah. I know it was just her birthday. I've yes. seen on the vlogs. Yeah. And she's a plant lady. Uh, I did not meet her, but I wanted to give her a little bookmark in it with the leaf shape in here since she's the plant lady. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> so that's for she her. I love it. And it's all personalized with the lip. Yeah. It's so cute. And then uh, this one is for, who am I channeling here? Oh, Percy. Because he's, yeah, he's here coming, and he's, he's coming, coming back. back soon, yes. And he's like the gentleman on the vlog. So I got a little bookmark here I made for him with the letter P for Percy. Wonderful. And then we'll mm -hmm. have to, you'll have to help me to decide uh, what to give Isabel because you maybe yeah. might know if she likes stud earrings. Does she have pierced ears? No, she used the clip-ons clip or maybe mm -hmm. I'll give her a bookmark or something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she reads a lot as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Michael Potts. Oh, Michael Potts, yes. Yes, <laughs> Michael Potts. So many M's in the uh, house. Because uh, he's one of the owners of the chateau yeah. and he's been on the vlogs for years. So another one. 
he's coming soon, I hope as well. Yeah. So we'll that's see him for, for him. Christmas for sure. And then who do I have here? Um, Philip. Yes, Philip. Thank you. <laughs> Philip <laughs> with the P. And I thought this was like peacock colors. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, I love <laughs> the design in this one. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Cute. And then okay, uh, Dan and Annalise. Yeah. Uh, Annalise is always coming over doing the hair yeah, and yeah. you're like BFFs with her I yeah, think. Yeah, we are, we are good friends. So <laughs> this is a little keychain they can put on their bag or yeah. whatever. It's so that's sweet. for them. Thank you, I will let you know. Then, somebody that's maybe here but not here all the time, Nick. Nick the tree surgeon. No, no. Oh, Nick uh, the other owner. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, and his wife. Marie. Yes, yes. and Antoine. Antoine. Yes. So a little bookmark for Antoine with the A on there. Yes. And then keychain for we can Nick We can put it in, in your uh, apartment, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> so that's, that's so for cool. them. Yeah. Because I know they are they're part of the owners here. Then, okay, we're getting close. This is for your other half. Maybe he can put it on his <laughs> bag. Yeah, or and his uh, chain for them. It can be for the for door of uh, yes. the workshop. So that's for Amory. I met him and he's very sweet. So nice to meet you guys in person. This one is for Marie. Okay. Because she's a plant lady into florals and then in yeah. here you see my plants oh, that I put in there. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. So that's for her. I'm sure she'll Beautiful. come back and yeah, make flowers will. one day. Well, actually, she's coming back, I think, at the end of uh, next month. Okay. She's coming back, back from South Africa. Okay. Yeah. So please, if yeah. you could pass that to her. Sure. And then this one is for Stephanie with the little mm -hmm. S in here. Yellow. Little butterfly bookmark. <laughs> so that's Beautiful. for her. And then also in here, I have my butterfly earrings with my blooms in them as well for Stephanie. Oh, that's so pretty. So I also so uh, wanted you to choose, and we can do that off camera, uh, mm. a pair of earrings that For if me. you want. Yes, oh, and if lovely. you don't like yeah. the bone, no, the I blooms, really like them. Yeah. then I have more I really that like you them. can choose from Absolutely here. No, so sure we'll, we'll do that off camera yeah. and you can go through it. And then I brought two pieces. So one of the things that I specialize in besides these little things, and yeah. we talked about it, is... Um, Preserving my blooms that come to my collection one night a year, cactus succulent houseplant blooms, and I put them into my art pieces so that they can live forever. Yeah. And I thought since Lalan is the home of beautiful flowers and all of that, you can decide yeah. who is Stephanie <laughs> where to hang this. I, I, I'm not particular where it should be displayed, uh, but in here. You think it could be in one of the rooms? Maybe. Because it's so pretty. It's like a. Um, Dream catcher. Yeah, right? so it catches the light and in here you see all of the so blooms beautiful. and then you see my Jewel of Hawaii charm here, which is my shop, jewelofhawaii.com and then it's it is translucent and it just gives me like Lalan vibes. So, yeah. Anywhere. I'm not picky. Okay. <laughs> you know, where it should I don't have a yeah. place. Just, it can live oh, somewhere you know, in the chateau. Philip is the, the <laughs> one who decides uh, where to put things, but uh, I think it would be lovely in one of the rooms. Yeah. I just uh, feel like it's a, catch, uh, a dream catcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Beautiful. then, last but not least, I wanted to uh, give the chateau one of my large pieces, but not so large, travel size. Yeah. And in here has a bunch of cactus blooms that come one night a year, so they're epiphyllum blooms. They open up 10 at night and they die 6 in the morning once a year. So I have to be home to catch them and dry them. And it takes uh, about 10 days to complete a piece like this, like this. And it has a bunch of different ferns in here. And all of these blooms come from my collection. That's so so wherever you want, you guys want to display it. I only see with this kind of um, <laughs> blooms. flowers. Yeah. Yeah, so they last forever in my art pieces. and. Yeah. Wherever you guys would like to display, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's beautiful. Thank so, you so much. I'm happy that I was able to hand deliver yeah. these things. And Thank whenever you. I come back in the future, I'll, yeah. I'll think of other things to bring. Back. And you will see it uh, around. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> I will show you where they are. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. I, you know. So pretty. I'll, I'll wait for Stephanie's um, reaction on, yeah. in the unwrap videos. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you for thank sitting you. with me and then we'll, we'll look at the earrings and yeah. you can choose one that you want. 
I think it's a great idea if we put it back in the bag. Yes, so yeah. We reopen it for yeah, 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 for well. sure, for sure. So this is the one that Natty chose. Of course, I had a feeling you were gonna choose the one with the cut glass in there, but enjoy the earring. So these are the ones that Natty chose. They're so beautiful. I love them a lot, and they're gonna live their best life in the land. 